Good morning guys and welcome back to another fishing adventure. So I got the car all packed up. We are about to head down to the coast of Texas. I live at the top of Texas and we're about to drive all the way down to the coast. We got the laptop, fishing gear, clothes, camera gear, four fishing poles. We got the Delta battery. We are all packed up and ready to drive 11 hours. Ah, this is not gonna be fun. I stayed up pretty late last night too. I got like two and a half hours of sleep, but I am ready to go. I got three five hour energies. That's about 15 hours of energy if I did the math right. But it's pretty early, so I'm not really sure. Ah, 6.30, let's start this trip. Like I said, I stayed up way too late last night rigging up my poles and just packing. I'm a last minute packer and it's horrible. So I'm going to start this trip off with the first one of these. <sighs> Grape is actually really good. Here we go. This is going to suck. <laughs> Never thought I'd be so far from home. Never thought our love could grow so cold. Their water tower is a big old bobber. Big boat, big bobber. Life changes as we know it. You do what you can, you just get through it. It's a mystery how people can get by on as little love as you. It is 7.30 and we finally made it to Orange, Texas. Pulling into the driveway now. We are here, we are here. So it is the next morning and me and my niece Olivia are about to go explore, go buy some bait. We're gonna go get some live shrimp and some blood worms and just try to go do some fishing. I don't know much about the saltwater fishing, but uh, we're gonna try our best, but uh, let's go explore. Dang, he sucks. Someone lost the boat. First spot is the Cow Bayou. We just came here to check it out. We did fish here last time we were here. We filmed people jumping off the bridge. All right, so we started around nine o'clock and all the bait shops were closed. So we went to Walmart and we picked up some shrimp. Not sure how well this stuff will work, but we got shrimp. We got some uh, Texas size Canadian night crawlers. And we're also just gonna throw some lures and see what we can catch. This is spot number one. We have a crap ton of spots to choose from down here. There's water everywhere, which I love. And check out this chair. This is my grandpa's chair. It has a rod holder attached to the chair. I'm gonna leave that there. That's pretty freaking sweet. And I'm gonna rig up another pole. On to the next spot. Well, beautiful bridge. It was fun, but didn't catch anything. On to the next spot. All right, so we are on top of the Rainbow Bridge. I freaking love this bridge. I always have to drive over it whenever I come here. But this is the tallest bridge I've ever seen. It's so sick.
All right, just drove over the Rainbow Bridge. I always have to when I have my car. It's a tradition for me. But now we're back to searching for a fishing spot. I see a rope going into the water. Probably for crabbing. Let's see what's on it. Yep, crab. Hey, there's a crab right there. We caught one. Oh, I got off. Dang it. I almost caught a crab. But there's a bunch of chicken bones right here. That is for crabbing. Which is what we used to do with my grandpa when we were young, like just little kids. Dang it, I wish I caught that crab. That would have been cool. But it got off. Alright, let's go find another fishing spot. I lied. We're not fishing that spot. We're still exploring. This is a dead end, it looks like. Alright, so I just looked up the laws in Texas for crabbing, and all it says is you have to have a valid fishing license and a saltwater fishing endorsement, which is what I have. So we will most likely do some crabbing while I'm down here. I've not done it since I was a kid. Man, that dude. That's crazy. My bad, man. Are oh, you good? You good? Wait, so okay. so y'all know what else is in here? No. Man, me either. <laughs> so. oh, I <laughs> <laughs> you catch anything? What's all in here? Do you know? What's all in here? Fish? Yeah. What kind? You don't know? <laughs> I know. I'm not from here. I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> well, no one knows. I guess what's in here. I know there's crab in here. They call it crab. Checking out the next spot. Right by a bridge. We have two other people fishing here. This should be a good spot. Man, I'm so pumped up about crabbing right now. You have no idea. Like I said, we've been crabbing since we were little kids. This is me on this dock right here. My grandpa took us out all the time. That was so fun. I loved it. One of my favorite pastime memories. We caught a crab. <laughs> Get out of here, buddy. Well, we just caught a crab on the shrimp. Not what I was going for. They have to be five inches here in Texas. That guy was too small. The people that were fishing here left, so I'm gonna go ahead and fish closer to this bridge. This is pretty cool. The noise might be loud, but we'll try it. We got worms, circle hooks. And a bridge. Oh, we got hit. I don't know, it feels light. I don't think it's on. Oh, yeah, it's on. A small little guy. Oh, a small little catfish. First fish of the day. <laughs> we caught a crab in this little guy. See you, buddy. Get out of here. <laughs> but that is the first coastal fish of the trip. Small little catfish. I can catch those back where I live. I don't want those. There's another bite. Yep, fish on. Another one. That was quick. This one feels really small, too, though. Hey, at least we're getting bites now. That was quick. That's probably a minute after that first catfish. I'm gonna try to get these worms closer to this bridge. Right by them piers. I'll take it. Fish on. Feels a little bigger. All right, a little bigger, a little bigger. Still pretty small, but dude, that thing is pretty. That thing is pretty, almost like a purple. All right, that one's a little bigger, but once again, that was pretty quick. See you, buddy. There it goes. All right, the worms by the bridge is doing it. They're small, but hey, <laughs> way better than nothing. I've been catching nothing all day.
The bell didn't go off, but this one feels way bigger. I don't know if it's a fish or what, but something's on it. It feels way, way bigger. That's not fighting though, it's just a uh, hard for me to reel in. Oh, I just got off, whatever it was. Like I said, I don't think it was a fish though. That was weird. Fish on. See ya, buddy. That was weird. That was on the outside of his mouth. <laughs> uh, I hate this rig so much. It, this is the worst rig ever. Let's get that back out there. Beautiful. Right by the beam. I think I'm going to rig up one more pole for worms. It's actually doing something right now, so... Uh-oh. Got a bite. That's how quick these worms are. Yes. Okay. Man. Where's the big ones? Trust me, guys. I did not drive this far just to catch these little catfish. I was looking up some spots for redfish earlier and I found some good spots I may go to tomorrow or the next day give me some give me a decent one well guys I'm about to call it after this fish it's been fun but the mosquito bites are intense and uh, it's not worth being out here right now <laughs> tomorrow I will wear pants be more prepared and uh, hopefully catch more bigger fish than this but hey it's been fun I appreciate the fish I did catch Man, long sleeves as well this is horrible the bugs are so bad out here all right there she is the last fish thank you buddy there she goes all right so I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night we caught five little catfish, I believe, four or five. I can't really remember, but I drove 12 hours and caught five little catfish. <sighs> Not good, but this is just day one. I still plan to go catch some redfish and then also go do some crabbing, so that is coming soon. I'm actually at a Walmart right now to go get some supplies for that, but more videos coming soon. I hope you all enjoyed this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.